Hey everybody, Nick here, and today we're going to do a little disassembly and maintenance on this little guy. This is the Booze Blade Smoke, but this is the newest version. A uh, all different jam over here. So let's go on ahead and take this little guy apart. Looks like this is going to be a flip-flop style disassembly uh, because I'm taking out these two screws here, this one here. And uh, so, yeah, let's go on ahead and jump into it. Looks like T8 for the pivot. We see here the pivot is not free spinning, which is a beautiful thing. The screws are very shallow, unfortunately. Um, what I mean by that is if I zoom in here a little bit, you're going to be able to see that the screw, there is very little vertical surface there for engagement with that screw. Not the end of any worlds, but it's just a little frustrating, I suppose. Uh, and then it looks like maybe this is T6. Yeah, T6. Whoa there. So this is going straight into the titanium on the other side. All right. Oh, God, I hope that backspacer... Oh, that's what I was afraid of. See these little individual things there? I'm going to have to align those all as I'm putting this guy back together. Okay. Well, then, uh, let's... <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Actually, I think there might be a way around this. Um, by the way, if you're curious about um, any of the tools I'm using, like this little cotton swab, well, uh, patch with uh, some isopropyl alcohol on it, go ahead and check out nickshabazz.com slash tools, where you will see a list of everything I use. But um, yeah, let's go on ahead and clean this guy up. Looks like it did come lubricated. The stop pin is well fixed in here, which is great. Looks like we have some ceramic bearings here, which, okay. No problem. It's sort of become the norm of late, um, at least in a lot of uh, certainly overseas made stuff, but also US made. So ceramic bearings in there. Looks like we have ourselves a stainless uh, washer that the bearings ride on, which is great. I'm gonna go on ahead and grab a um, Q-tip here. Just clean this off. This is not fixed in place, but whatever. Still got enough of it there. And I'll get in here and clean this part off as well. A little bit of burring on the machining here, but not the end of any worlds. Uh, I should put this in the back there. Where'd my other one go? Yeah, okay, good. And then I'm just going to clean around the pivot here with this Q-tip and get everything good to go. Okay, so, um, oh, and then I should clean the lock face here. So what we see here, a couple of things. We do have a lock bar insert here uh, with an over-travel stop, preventing the uh, lock bar from going too far in this direction. This little tab will hit the inside there. Got a nice detent ball in there, ceramic, a little bit of internal milling, a uh, little bit of external milling, actually a good bit of external milling. And uh, yeah, we're basically ready to go back together here. So what I'm going to try and do here to make my life suck just a little bit less is I'm going to try and do this. Um, I'm going to try and stack these screws up. Okay, what I'm realizing here is that there is actually, I wonder, oh, okay, so what I'm realizing here is that these two screws are of different lengths. That's something you got to keep in mind, because if you do that backwards, you're going to have a bad time. The reason for that is that this screw engages just with this hole. This screw is actually also the pocket clip screw. This has a hidden clip screw. So I just need to keep that in mind as I'm rebuilding this whole affair. Okay, now I drop that. They actually, uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put on the back spacer here. I'm going to drop on this spacer here. Are these spaces the same thickness? Yes, they all are. That's good. Okay, Broski, come on. I'm throwing my spaces all around here. Grab a tweezer here. There we go. Drop that on there. Now I need to get this in position. I believe it's going to go this way. Yeah, okay, that matches the contour in the back there. That's good. Drop this in place. And drop this in place. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little bit of Loctite on a stick here. And I'm just going to kind of catch a little of the Loctite on this screw such that it gets applied on there. That's good. All right, uh, now what I'm going to do is put the other side of it, get it roughly ready to go back together. So I'm going to use a little bit of 10-weight nano oil here, drop a bearing on, put a little of that same nano oil around the pivot itself. Just that way the blade's got something to ride on. I will drop the blade into position. 
I'm going to go on ahead and lubricate the detent ball hole here. Uh, that way it'll also give me the path, and that was way too much, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of join it up with this area here so that I can use that same lubrication for the bearing on that side. Now what I'm going to attempt to do, and I don't know whether this is going to be a thing or not. Am I doing this wrong? No, I'm doing this okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and put things back together kind of as it stands here. I'm going to start off just by making sure that everything's kind of in alignment. Oh, should put a little Loctite on the thread here. Start off by making sure everything's in alignment, and then I'm going to try and get this guy, the pivot, in position. I'm not going to screw it down altogether because, uh, yeah, but I'm going to lift up the lock bar here, and that'll make sure that my pivot can, you know, go into as close a position as it can, basically. And once I get closer... There we go. So that's, you know, very, very... It's relatively loose, but it's there. Now what I'm going to do is... There we go. Good. Okay, so I flipped the thing over, and these didn't fall out. So I didn't lose my little washes. So now I should be able to get in here and tighten, tighten, tighten. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Now that those are tightened in the back here, let's get everything fully kind of... What I'm going to go ahead and do is adjust the pivot. I may actually need to go back and loosen the uh, the backspaces, depending, the backspaces screws, that is. Okay, this is a little too tight at the moment, so let me loosen my pivot up a little bit here. That is still too tight, so I'll loosen up a bit further. What I'm doing here is I'm just loosening and then checking for any blade play. And I'm feeling the action. Okay. So right now the action is uh, quite good. I'm going to loosen it just a little bit further. I think that's going to give me blade play. And I can do this, by the way, because this side of the pivot is not free spinning. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind. But, yep, that was blade play. There's a certain feeling that you kind of expect off of things at that point where they're just perfectly dialed in. Yep, no play. Okay. Okay. Now, centering is slightly off. What I bet is going to happen here is I'm going to unscrew these two screws partly. Not, like, completely here, but I'm just going to kind of loosen them up a little bit. Now I bet this is going to be, yep, now that's dead center again. And let me tighten. And let me tighten. And what we're going to see is this is dead center. Beautiful. And now we have a great action straightforward. Okay, so there you go. Um, the the floating backspacer washers there could have been very much a pain in the neck, but by following a certain order of operations, it, uh, it worked out okay, and we were able to get this guy back together and running, frankly, better than ever. So anyways, there you go. Um, I hope this has been interesting to you, uh, that I have smoked out your uh, fears of this disassembly, and that you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.